remember last game, Buster. Triple dodge. <laughs> oh, Joker's back. Actually wild to see. All right, so for this build to work, you're going to need two things, and that is going to be the Deep Freeze Artifacts and the Endless Thirst Earring. Deep Freeze drops at the Glacial Tarn Dungeon at mutation level one or above. And for the Endless Thirst Earring Artifact, this is only farmable at the Savage Defy Dungeon by farming the boss Mahantaram. However, if you did get level 100 on your season three battle pass, you most likely already have this. The best abilities to use with this build is going to be Powder Burn, Traps, and Sticky Bomb. Sticky Bomb is going to be the one shot combo finisher. What makes this build so potent is the fact that traps apply a 20% rent. You get 20% bonus damage on your sticky bomb by targets afflicted by trapper tree debuffs, which includes the rent. Plus on top of the 15% bonus damage to targets who are in a root, which is your trap. And once again, this applies to both weapons. And you should also have empowered eye spike on your eye scarlet on top of the 350 intelligence perk, which gives us 10% ability damage. The eye scarlet true we are using for this build is a standard eye spike builds. You can also exchange tomb for a shower however i would not recommend this because the survivability from healing tomb is way too valuable especially in these small scale pvp fights the gear i'm wearing now is nothing best in slot i'm still looking to get a few pieces more if you want to follow a best in slot build guide it will be down in the description below the main two perks you really want with this build is going to be ice harnessing and elemental aversion or refreshing and for the musket i do have enchanted here but i would rather put crippling powder burn on here and as well here the unending thaw on the deep freeze should be empowered ice spike i made a lot of poor decisions decisions when I was crafting this character and I also use a lot of this gear in other builds and for the endless thirst earring make sure you put regenerating on here there is nothing better than regenerating currently you could also put nimble but if you like to play other builds I would recommend regenerating and lastly these are the attributes that I use 100 constitution is the lowest amount of con I would definitely run in this build also the diminishing returns after 350 and 400 intellect is quite high for both the ice scholar and the musket I would not recommend going past this moving on to the best in slot gear once again we are using Using the new world dash buddy dot de website it will have the attributes in the top left and all of the other information that you need to know for this build to work for the perks that we want to stack we want to have as much elemental aversion as possible and as much ice harnessing as possible now i also did say that if you want to take off your elemental aversion for refreshing you can do that but that is going to require you to craft some pieces there is already ice harnessing and elemental aversion gear in this game that you can craft starting off with the hat we are going to use the admiral's tricorn cap which drops from the barnacles and black powder dungeon you can also craft all of the admiral's gear at the gypsum kiln if you do have the dense mutator materia so the admiral's gear comes with ice harnessing and elemental aversion and the third perk that you want to put on it is going to be accelerating traps accelerating traps is not only a survivability increase but it is also a massive damage increase traps now apply a eight percent bleed for about five seconds and that is just a free 40 percent weapon damage for the chest piece we want to run the admiral's petticoat and the third perk that we want to put on it is going to be healing tomb so healing tomb is actually 20 20% base health, not max health, but it actually does make a difference, especially in outpost rush when you are trying to escape. It is about a 1500 heal. For the medium gloves, this is going to be your only craftable piece. If you do want best in slot, you are going to have to inductorate with ice harnessing, elemental aversion, and mending sticky bombs. You can also opt to not take mending sticky bombs and just run a third perk of your choice. The next best option I would recommend is probably going to be rolling a two perker with ice harnessing and elemental aversion and hope for a decent third perk. For the attune leather pants, just put tricking energy on them you can use this with pretty much any build that you have for the light foot once again the admiral's peg ice harnessing elemental aversion and unending thaw for the amulet it's going to be the corrupt progenitor amulet with health refreshing recovery and stamina recovery the ring we are using is going to be hardy keen invigorated punishment for that max ice spike damage and that is simply going to be the champion's ring that you can get from your pvp track and lastly on the right side here endless thirst and just put regenerating on that there is no better third perk currently for the weapon we want to use the syncretic musket and put crippling powder burn on there and lastly with the deep freeze we want to put empowered ice spike on there the stalwart hot run of stone form is going to be the best hot run to use for the combos there is a few different ones that you can do but the main one that you want to do is the trap into sticky bomb into trap into storm into spike combo that is like the ultimate one shot combo and that is the combo that you saw at the beginning of this video it's going to look something like this
So with this combo, your Sticky Bomb and your Ice Spike is going to pop at the same exact time and there is no way for somebody to heal it or survive it as long as you hit the Ice Spike. For the bread and butter combo that you want to try to get off on a person, it's simply going to be a trap into Sticky Bomb into a dodge ice spike into your powder burn shot now people actually love to spam their dodge in the trap animation so make sure you time your ice spike and shots when they are low stamina or have no stamina at all and if you put a malachi in your deep freeze you can actually make this combo a little bit more fluid because you will not have to dodge after your combo to get that bonus opal proc on your ice spike so if you want to run a malachi instead of an opal you can simply do this combo it's going to be the trap into sticky bomb into ice spike into the dodge shoot now this is a lot more fluid compared to the other combo and this is probably what i'd recommend moving forward and since the bonus malachi damage works on roots this is probably actually better than opal that about wraps it up once again merry christmas and have a happy holidays we will be live on the 26th of december at 5 p.m pst on twitch the link will be down in the description below with that being said thank you for watching the video i'll see you in the next one peace baby check this out chat musket ice spike incoming Easy. Wait, this is tech. Hold on, chat. This is actually tech. Boom. That's a spike to the face, baby. Oh, I missed the goddamn trap. Oh, I laid the trap! Easy! <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. I want to spike your ass off. Oh, wow! 360, no scope! That was a quick scope, actually. Chat, I think we're only doing quick scopes today, by the way. Quick scope! Ooh, the trap got his ass. What up, boy? All right, you guys see this medium musket here? Hold on. Land in the trap? Oh, we got it. Nah, this combo's biz chat. Triple dodge into the spike. Put the traps down. Stam. He's gonna die to bomb. Easy. 